Hey YouTube, this is going to be a quick video about the sort of basics of solar energy if you want to get solar into your house. Uh, there's a lot of videos out there that, are, that deal with like, you know, the specifics of, you know, wiring this and wiring that and everything, but I, I think what's missing is a video that just covers how kind of simple all this stuff is. Uh, so here's my super simple system that I've, I've kind of built myself. A simple solar electric system has three parts. Part one, the solar panels. Part two, the battery uh, array for collecting the energy. And part three is a, uh, a charge controller, which uh, keeps the batteries from exploding by being overcharged or, or whatever. That's it. Solar panels, batteries, and something to keep the batteries from blowing up. Uh, my system, starting with the batteries, has six batteries all run in parallel and that uh, parallel means that uh, you're connecting all the negative terminals of each battery together and all the positive terminals from the, all the batteries together and that keeps the voltage of the batteries the same if you run something in series you're adding you're, you're being additive with the voltage and if you run in parallel uh, you're keeping the voltage uh, the same so this is a 12 volt system because these are all 12 volt batteries here uh, these wires here uh, are two gauge wire I got it on Amazon. Each one of these cables, you know, it's a few bucks or so. You know, it adds up after a while, you know, if you buy millions of them. Uh, but uh, having nice heavy gauge wire like that is, is really uh, beneficial to keep the, the flow going through the system. So got each one of these, each one of these batteries are kind of pricey. It's like 130 bucks per battery. One, two, three, four, five, six batteries. Um, so you know, that adds up. Uh, but uh, these are pretty good quality ones and they're going to last me a while. Uh, so there's the battery array. That's one piece of your system. The other piece of your system is up here. Pretty inexpensive for little guys like this. This is a charge controller. This is what's between your batteries and your solar panels. This one here is like 30 bucks or something like that. It's uh, It can take in several hundred watts. You know, not like a thousand watts or anything like that. But for a small system, something like this is pretty decent. You see a little flashing green light here? That means that there is light coming onto the panels outside and that the batteries are full. So I'm not taking advantage of it. It's just saying, battery's full. I have nothing to do with this extra energy. That's what it's telling me right now. Um, that is running out to my solar panels with these little underground uh, PVC conduit that I, I made. This is, I think, six gauge or eight great gauge wire that I ran out there. Um, you can do all the calculations about this stuff, and it's, you know, it's probably good to do, but I, I sort of have gotten to the point where I just sort of eyeball it. Six or eight gauge seemed good, and it seems like it's all right. It's working all right. Um, that's terrible advice, by the way. It's terrible, terrible advice, but, you know, it works for me. Um, so, you got your solar panels outside, and they're running with some heavy-ish gauge wire into your charge controller. And the charge controller oftentimes has three different little ports on it. One, mine has a picture of solar panels with a positive and a negative. It's pretty obvious. Then there is a picture of a battery with a positive and a negative. Again, it's pretty obvious. And then there's a picture of a light bulb. And that means that you could run uh, those ports out to direct DC application sort of things. I don't have anything plugged into there at the moment. So batteries, uh, the solar, I'm sorry, solar panels run into the charge controller and then the wires from the little battery icon run down here to the wires and done. That's the solar system right there. Solar panels charge the batteries and you've got hot batteries. Now, you can do anything with that energy that you want. At the moment I'm you know, not doing anything with it. Uh, one way of utilizing the energy is uh, AC power. This is a inverter. It's made by Renogy. I can't say that I recommend Renogy inverters. This is my second one, and it's starting to buzz again. The other one was buzzing, and then it stopped working. I kind of like the solar panels. Actually, I really like the solar panels. I have a lot of them. I don't think I've had any issues with those, although solar panels don't buzz, so if they were giving me an issue, I don't think I'd know about it. Um, but I'm happy with their solar panels. I will buy more Renogy solar panels, but their inverters I'm not really all that pleased with. Um, so, you know, take that for what you will. I'm, you're getting a sense of how much 
research and tech expertise I have in any of this, but uh, you know I might look elsewhere. They're kind of it's kind of inexpensive. I think this yeah this is a Renogy um, charge controller. That one seems to be working fine. Just the inverter. I just had some issues with that. They had good customer service though. I took the other one back. They, they you know they returned it right away. It was no big deal. But eh, yeah, 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 yeah. not so much. Not so much. When you're hooking these guys up, I've got some he heavy gauge wire you can see here. Uh, I'm gonna guess that's probably two gauge. Yeah, it's two gauge. Two. 2AWG means 2 gauge wire. So that runs to the battery bank, directly to the battery bank, and you hit it at one corner here and then the other corner here. You could kind of, in theory, just pop, pop over there. Um, someone told me it was good to go from one corner to the other. Maybe that's good advice, I guess. You know, maybe, maybe if, if this little daisy chaining thing, if you didn't have as heavy wires, that would make more sense. I don't know, but that's what I was told to do, and it yeah, seems to work. Yeah, totally fine. Uh, and now this guy here, I can just turn it on uh, up here, and it'll give me AC power, and I've run it to a couple outlets. Uh, the way that I've done this is that I made a double-ended male uh, extension cord, where I took an extension cord and then cut another extension cord and then just uh, wire nutted them together. So it's got two male ends. And I took this and I plugged it into a circuit. And as long as you have the circuit turned off here, that's super important, you're totally fine. That's not a problem. If I were to flip the circuit back on, and you can see that I've got tape over them to remind me not to touch them. Uh, if I were to flip that circuit back on, that, I'm not an electrician, but that would be really bad. Because you'd be, you know, you'd be shooting power into this and your, your batteries. I'd imagine that'd be horrible. So, you know, don't, don't mess with that. Um, I actually had some issues with that on, on some, some other solar units. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but yeah, that, uh, what I ended up doing is I, I, I plugged that in and, the, and I disconnected the circuit from there so I can't make that mistake again. That's good advice, actually. Disconnecting the, whatever circuits in your house you're going to connect to your solar. Uh, disconnecting them from uh, even possibly being turned back on in the grid. Uh, because it's just such a, a problem. But again, solar is not that big a deal. Battery bank, daisy chain together solar panels outside. Uh, you've got to uh, watch the, uh, the voltage coming in. Uh, this guy doesn't want it coming in at higher than 30 volts, so I've got them kind of run in series and parallel out there um, so that they're coming in at 24 volts, so, which means I've got two 12-volt panels run in series, and then those are paralleled together. Uh, so they all come in here, this runs into the batteries, and then you do whatever you want with the batteries. You can run DC devices right off the batteries or run into an inverter. And that's it. It's very simple. It's worth trying. Start with a small system, maybe with just with a couple batteries. Cheap little $30 charge controller. You can even uh, get one of these uh, inverters like the, the, the car inverters. And I, I've used those before. They'll put more of a phantom drain on your batteries than you know, these slightly nicer ones, or the really nicer ones. Uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the car ones, they'll like, draw like 10 watts or 15 watts just being on, not even having anything you know, plug into them. So they're sort of inefficient in that way. So I, I would recommend against doing those unless, you know, it's just a, kind of an emergency thing. But simple. Batteries, charge controllers, solar panels, and then come up with a use. That's it. Very simple. You can start small and then, and then grow big once you sort of experiment with it. Have fun.